Uh, hey everyone, um, I'm going to give a quick tutorial on uh, how to get games on the LG Rumor. Uh, I have a Virgin Mobile uh, Canadian phone here. So here's the phone, and uh, basically I didn't explain it very well in my other video because of course I was sick. <laughs> anyways, that's my excuse. So anyways, here's how, here's how you do it. You go to this website here. And then, oops, <laughs> sorry, itching my leg there. And then you scroll down to where it says upload games, application, and Java stuff. Um, <laughs> so, so from here, you um, you have a couple options. But first, we're just going to upload a game, and then I'll sh show you the uh, other cool tricks you can do with this. So here, you find the jar file. Now, if you go to Phone Zoo or any place like that, you can easily download jar files. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Browse, and uh, this is actually under my Games folder. So we're going to put Adventures of blah, blah, I don't know how to say that. Anyways. <laughs> So uh, we're just going to upload into a uh, game folder for now. There's actually, it's not the default, the default is default folder, but just uh, if you put it to games folder it will actually go into uh, the folder with all your other games. So hit upload. And then you'll get this. You'll get a jump code and uh, you also get the URL, which you're supposed to enter on your phone. Now, um, and now everything is from. So, from here, I get to the web. According to Virgin Mobile, I have eVDO on this phone. And I told them it was a load of. Anyways. <laughs> but, uh. See if I can get this up here. The code. Let's see. Uh, this way. This way. This way. Okay. So as you can see here, this is the spot to enter the code, and then get file once you put in the, the URL here. So, um, but basically what I did with my phone was every time I click web, I actually go to uh, that page right away. So now I just punch in it. Uh, three seven. One eight zero zero three, and now on the phone, you s you can't really see, but the number's in there, and I'm going to get the file. And I think I pressed the wrong button. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, and I press the OK button this time. Sorry about the glare. Okay, it's going. <laughs> Okay, now it says, are you sure you want to install Adventure blah 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 from Extreme Games? And I just go to install. And actually I already have this game, so I'm going to tell it to overwrite. But normally you wouldn't get this option. Normally you would go to this screen, where it says downloading, start downloading. That's not good. Anyways, <laughs> so you just wait a little bit, and then the download progress will come up and then BAM it's on your phone now you'll have two options you'll have to run or shop so in this case we're gonna run it and hopefully I can uh, from here. It's loading the game new game and voila this game whatever it is is on my phone now so, um, the the only problem now you'll be like, okay, so the game's on there. That's one way of doing it, and you're probably thinking, well, well, why go through the uh, the link there? And uh, the reason why, whoops, 
the reason why I have to go through the link is that if you try to download off like another site, like in my case, uh, Google Google Map for instance and stuff like that, uh, the file actually won't download. It will. You'll get an error saying invalid indicator is a popular one. Just loads and loads of errors. But what happens when you upload the jar to this website? For some reason, it signs the code properly for the rumor, and uh, you're able to download it without any errors. Now the only problem now is that when you download Java games, because it's not, for some reason I'm getting, the game will install now, but I'll get Java exception error, and it will give me a sample piece of code, and I gotta go all the way up here, a sample piece of code um, saying why it won't work, because apparently there's a couple lines in the Java program which uh, can't read right. So the games which I have gotten to work, um, which you've probably seen from other videos like Call of Duty, for um, some Sudoku game and, and stuff like that. I mean, really horrible games. But <laughs> uh, okay, now I'm going to show you the site and a couple things you want. A couple things I figured out and. Um, which I thought was neat. Now you can actually put a games in an applications folder or an application in a games folder or vice versa. The phone doesn't care basically. But if you go to others, what it will do, like say we want to call this adventure. Uh, yeah. Sorry, there's cables all over on the keyboard. Okay, so the and if we hit upload and we actually downloaded this game, what would happen? What would <laughs> what happen then is on the phone when you go into uh, my stuff, you'll actually see a folder called Adventure, and in that you'll find the uh, you'll find the link to the game. What's neat about this is that once you delete the game, it will actually delete the folder if that is the only game in the folder, if there's two things in the folder, whatever. So you don't really need to worry about managing the folder too much. Um, also, on this site, uh, probably didn't explain it very well, is uploading ringtones, which is actually up here. Upload wallpapers, ringers, etc. Um, on this phone, actually, if you link it to a picture, it actually just goes to a picture, but you can't save it. But through the site, you can actually save it as a wallpaper or a ringer and uh, basically it's the same thing except now you have a description because unlike a program or a game where you have a title of it um, pictures and music don't so you have to say I'm uploading a wallpaper and I want it to be a uh, cute girl right? Anyways, um, and then I would just find a picture of a cute girl, upload it, and then it will go through the, uh, the steps. I have to enter the jump.php on the phone, and then download it. Same thing with the ringer, so I can call the ringer cute girl and have a girly sound for the, <laughs> for the file, upload it, and there it goes again. Um, and you're like, well that's great, but... You know, how do I do it for USB and through BitPin? Um, it's a lot of work the other way. And if I get enough requests, I will actually show it step by step. But I prefer doing it this way because you can not also do wallpaper applications and uh, games, but you can also do ringers, which, to my knowledge, you can't 